Hey everybody, Mike Wrench Mike. We are back. And it's always a good day when I'm here at Copart. I am in Tulsa, Oklahoma, checking out some very cool and yet very dusty cars and trucks, RVs, trailers, recreational vehicles, ATVs, SUVs, box trucks, and whatever else I can find out here. Big thank you to everybody at Copart. Friendliest staff ever. I love coming and saying hello to them, and then they give me kind of a carte blanche to kind of walk around and uh, check out what they have. So let's just jump right in. And I do want to say, I have forgotten my tripod, so if you see my arm or my finger up here, well, it's because I'm an idiot. Well, you better get back, Jack, because I got me a scat pack. Just drop off the key, Lee, and set yourself free. You knew that was coming, didn't you? Yeah. Check this out. 2021 <laughs> Dodge Charger. Woohoo! Hello. Yes, yes, yes. Scat Pack 392 Hemi. And as far as damage, if you can see under the dust, we're just going to <laughs> kind of believe the adjuster. Replace door trim panel repair blend r and i repair and inspect quarter trim replace the foam buckled section oh my gosh this person was really really picky but here's why she got punched right in the rear booty yeah the left cheek took it took it hard okay we <laughs> Yep, this was a good looking car in blue. And I love the little beetle, the beetle, the super bee right there. And we have more damage over here. So this whole rear end kind of got pushed. It's a little bit weird. And look how picky they are on the gap. It does come down a little bit, maybe a millimeter or two. Wow, and then buckled here. So that's why this car is out here in the middle of the yard. She has a flat as well. Man, she was a beast back in the day. Let's see what she's like on the inside. Oh, well, that kind of changes things. They put everything, everything in the front. Dad gummit. What's in the back if the front seat's full of stuff? Well, okay. That looks like an aftermarket bumper. Yeah. Wow. Okay, so this everything just kind of changed. Unfortunately, I can't I can't move all this stuff and get in there to see if it's going to work. Let's just see what this does. I don't think I can even fit the brakes and push the button. Yeah, where's the button on these things? I'm going in. I'm going in. Here we go. It's right here. Oh, come on. This has been the story of my life this week. See? So she's not going to do anything. I tell you, I have had the hardest time cranking out videos this week. I really have. And I don't want to share too much, but... I can't get one out for the life of me. I really cannot because I start working on a car and then I get a delay and then the day's gone. And then I start working on another car while I wait for something on the first car and the day is gone. I come out here, take a look at a nice little 392 Hemi and she won't start and the day is gone. So what is it? FML. Yeah, let's just move on. We're going to slowly walk away. Well, remember everything I said about my day and my luck? I take it all back and this is why check this out 1990 mercedes 560 s e c if you know me you know i had one of these it was bronze with the tan interior and it was magnificent but i couldn't get it past 10 miles an hour and i had to sell it and the car by the way is now living in Saudi Arabia. It actually is. It is really living back there. Let me see if I can back this camera up so you can take in all of its glory. This is black with the pinstriping over the cream leather interior, which looks to be pretty good so far, 
we do have an issue here, an issue here. We have the front um, fender. We got a nice looking, is that a scratch? Yep, that's a scratch right there. We have the non-European headlights, which I found, I had the best of luck back then. I found European headlights in the junkyard and I put them on my car and it changes the entire appearance. It really does change out the gold to some clear and it makes everything look so much nicer. I'm gonna ask my sunglasses to sit right there. Okay, tires, oh, oh they look good. Yes, sir. Um, they are tiger, tiger paw tires. That's okay. I have been looking for one of these ever since I sold the other one. I really have, I gotta tell you. This, oh, I don't know if I wanna release a video until after this is sold because, oh my goodness, this is nice. <gasps> 148,000 miles. Okay, typical, typical, typical faded. There's just so much glass in here that the wood, the wood does go. And I've yet to find one with a cracked dash. That's how good these things are made. Okay, this is a 1990 current on its oil changes. And see the, the needle right there, all of the needles, they need to be painted. That's okay, I've already got paint. I've already done that once. Let's just kind of see. Um, original radio right here. Holy moly. This is gonna put me in the best mood. Oh, I want this. I really, oh my gosh. Okay, let's pop the hood. All right, to release the hood, you have a hinge on each side here. And right here, so you get to kind of hug the car as you open it up. And look at the beast! Yes! Distributor. Hoses look good. Well, they've been around for a while. The belts look okay. There's your rear SLS self-leveling system fluid. You've got the battery, a Superstar battery right here. We have orange coolant there. Do we have oil? And it doesn't even look that bad. It really doesn't. Oh my gosh. This is gonna be, uh, I want it. I really, 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 really want this thing. Let's see what color this is. There's still some red in it, so that's good. It's not burned and it doesn't smell burned. Let's see if she has any life left in her. This, oh, please, please, baby girl, sound good. Give me the goodness. Yes, yes, yes. Little Michael Jackson coming through on the radio. And she sounds perfect. Yep, she sounds good, she really does. There's something loose on the exhaust. But the engine sounds good. She's a little wobbly. Let's check out the trunk. We have the original tools. Look at that. Everything you need. And that looks like a brand new tire. Continental, by the way. So there is an exhaust leak, it sounds like to me. So this, she could probably, I'm guessing some spark plugs maybe. She is a little shaky. She's not, and used, typically these are just like super duper smooth. but she does sound good. No ticks, no knocks, no nothing. Yes, yes. There's just... 
I guess it's an exhaust hanger or something that is just kind of uh, given up. Okay, windows? Yes. We'll go over here. Yep, a little slow. That works. And finally, there it is. Okay, the headliner is good. It's, well, this can be re-glued. Holy moly. What about, yep. This car was running and driving until something just happened to it. Really. She sounds, oh my gosh. This has my name written all over it, doesn't it? I hate to say it, but it does. It really does. And I, it's a huge steering wheel. It does not go up and down or in and out. You kind of have to adjust the seat, which is right here, to the driving position. And the front motor works. That all needs to be cleaned. You can clean what's behind here, the little connectors. Or you can just order new ones. There we go. Sometimes they just get kind of corroded. And Windshield washer fluid is the only error message on the whole thing. Look at that. So we've gone from the Dodge to the Mercedes. The Mike has gone from kind of happy to incredibly happy. Because this leather is in such good shape. It really, really is. Wow. Okay. Well, let's already go fund me for Mike so we can have this car. <laughs> no. No. We need to replace this. Not a big deal. All right. Here we go. 1990 560 SEC from Mercedes Benz that I have got to have. I have to have this. Absolutely. All right. Let's move on. But everything is in perfect condition except for where it's not. Ha! Well, here's another coupe that I've always wanted. 2011 Audi A5. Missing some pieces on the grill. Missing some pieces. Ooh, on the wheel. A big old chunk. Look at that. <laughs> okay. She hit something really hard. But other than that, do you see anything else under all the dust? Dallas Auto Center. Um, I do not. I see what was once a very nice car, unless there's something structural or suspension related underneath. Okay, so we have a crack here. This has come off, and this is a little scratched up and pushed in. Any damage on the hood? A little road rash right there. But I don't see much. I really don't. Clean the headlights, absolutely. Those are disgusting. And your surround piece for your fog light and the little missing piece. Um, we do have a cracked windshield. Nothing major. But let's just see what she's like. Oh, and she's even a stick shift. <gasps> yes. Okay. Well, once again, I am working without a tripod because I forgot it and I forgot my vest. I had to go buy another vest. And I'm just, I'm just not doing very well in the thinking department. But we do have power because the seat's going up. 160,000 miles on the odometer right here. Let's just kind of see what's going to happen. All right, we got the car started. Key in the fob on going this way and then you push it and this will start. And she sounds really nice. She does, we have the electric parking brake on. TPMS, the doors open, 160,000 miles. And that's the only thing I see. Oh, we have a check engine light on. Oh, that's good. Okay, windows go up and down, of course. Yep. This has seen better days. Okay, this is kind of wonky talk. So, I don't know what's going on, but I don't like it. Yeah, that's, that's not good right there. At least we'll keep it closed. Okay, so let's see what the engine sounds like and looks like. 
There we go, the trunk has popped open. Oh, well you get a lot of stuff back here. You get another battery, a couple of lampshades. Oh, that's nice. You get a little bag. You get a BGW 210 modem and you get some trash. A whole bunch of trash and power drinks, Red Bull. So a young person owned this and they drank all the caffeine they can get their hands on. That's good to know. The young people can still drive these manual cars. Let's see what the engine sounds like and looks like. A little oily. These are bizarro engines. I will, I will tell you that. They are kind of strange. Audi just does things differently. But it doesn't sound too bad at all. It really doesn't. All right, we like it. We like this a lot. As far as the seats go, the interior, this is all in really, really, really good shape. It's just kind of dusty. Okay. We don't know why the check engine light is on. I'm not too concerned about that. And here we got some breakage of the windshield right up there as well. So top and bottom have been busted out. But this will be a fun car, especially with this right here. So, as I always say, who'd you rather? Which coupe would you rather? The, uh, oh my goodness, the A5 or the 560 SEC? I know what I would want, um, but what do you guys think? Which would you take? Would you go old school or kind of newish school? This is a 2011 after all, okay? Um, about the same mileage, 149 I think for the SEC, 160 for the A5, um, but that SEC was just magnificent. And I have been looking for one of those. I really have for a long, long time, ever since I had to sell mine. So we're going to mark that one down. Absolutely. Let me know what you think, folks. All right. My arm's getting tired of holding the phone. So we're going to say goodbye. <laughs> How many more videos can I crank out before my arm gives out? Okay. Have a great day, everybody. We're back with another video. And eventually we'll have something where we get our hands dirty on. Okay. We'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.